In this video and the upcoming ones in this series, I'm going to walk you through a variety of AWS projects that will not only give you hands-on experience, but also make you stand out in the competitive world of backend and cloud engineering. But hold on, we are not talking about your typical AWS project here, like hosting a static website or launching EC2 instance, no. Instead, we are diving deep into projects using most wanted AWS services. And trust me, once you showcase those projects on your CV, employer will be knocking on your door. We are encouraging you to try out the project, and if you ever hit a rollback, don't worry, we will release videos of us making each AWS project. So subscribe now so you won't miss a thing. Let's dive into the world of AWS projects. Are you ready? Let's get started. So welcome back guys and thank you for keep watching. So today I'm going to share with you six AWS projects that will not only challenge you but also will help you to build the confidence and the end zone experience that you need through these six amazing AWS projects that I'm going to share with you. And in order to get the best from this video, I really recommend you to sit, watch and listen. And once you finish, Please try each AWS project and if you hit a roadblock, remember that we're gonna release video for each AWS project. And if you have questions, feel free to reach out or leave comment below. So let's start with our first AWS project, serverless invoice scanner. So as you can see right now on the screen, a architecture that I designed for serverless invoice scanner. And we're gonna go and dive in and explain each component and how it works. And you basically can make this project by yourself. So we have the user who's making requests to Route 53. Route 53 is the domain registration of AWS uh, cloud services. And he making the we connect it to AWS Amplify. AWS Amplify is basically uh, a service that allow you to host front end or static website with deployment, auto deployment, very easy. And you can connect authorization service like AWS Cognito. It's not, it's not a must, but it's a good experience. Once the user is um, making a request to the AWS Amplify, he has the option to do or post or get request to API Gateway. And we're using here API Gateway because we want uh, the option for our serverless architecture to be remodeled and you can connect and make requests not only from Amplify or for any other uh, backend service that you have or frontend service that you have. So the first request that you can do, you can do upload the invoice. You upload the invoice to S3 bucket. This S3 bucket is trigger AWS Lambda function. And the first thing that the AWS Lambda function do is extract text from document using AWS Textract. It's an AI model that AWS launched. Next thing, we are using another AWS Lambda that connect to AWS Bedrock, and with that you are extracting the price from all the text you're getting from the invoice document. And once you're doing that, you're doing the last step, step number three, you save the invoice in AWS DynamoDB. It's a service that allows you to run table on the cloud or database on the cloud, pay as you go. And the other uh, request that we are supporting, it's get request or get invoice. Uh, once we uploading all the invoices, we have the option to request a specific invoice by ID. Okay, and the get invoice basically land, uh, trigger AWS Lambda that making request to AWS DynamoDB and giving you the invoice that you need. Very a uh, solid architecture. It's not too simple, but it's not too hard. And I think it will give you all the experience you need to say that I have experience with serverless a service that AWS allow you. It's covering a lot of the option and it's pretty cool to build something like that. It's a system as you go, you pay as you go also. And I think it's a pretty neat uh, project to showcase to a uh, future employer. And by the way, guys, we just want to update that we are working on mastering AWS Cloud course. It's like AWS Bootcamp for beginner where you will learn AWS Cloud 
by building and deploying scalable web application using three different architecture, the most wanted and demanded architecture of AWS. You have the EC2 instance architecture, you have the serverless architecture, and you have the container architecture. This course is designed especially for beginners who want to gain the confidence of AWS Enzone and get hired easily. You can check it now in the YouTube description below. And that's it for now. Let's go back to AWS project number two, CI/CD pipeline for Node.js app. So this project is more for people who want to start their work on becoming a DevOps uh, engineer and also backend developer who want to show that they are more than just a developer. So CI/CD pipeline for Node.js app, it's one of the things that's crucial for sustaining and production application or even staging or dev or local. You need to understand how the code that you program commit actually finding its way to the server. And if you don't know how to launch Node.js server on AWS, I created a YouTube video, one of my popular video. You can go and watch it on YouTube. But let's go back to the project. So what we want to build, what we want to design is a CI CD pipeline that using all AWS relevant service. So once you push, the developer push a code using uh, his computer and push it to code commit, this code commit making an auto a trigger a code build and this code build instead of starting automatic deploy a, you need to do manual approval to sns service simple notification service and once you approve it manually it will start automatic deploy to code deploy and code deploy will deploy the code to your node.js server using the code pipeline service that aws provide to this project is specially for beginner that start their way and want to extend their knowledge on the DevOps space. Okay, let's go to project number three, big data project for querying COVID-19 data. So this is for more uh, backend developer or also more for BI developer, business intelligence, who want to query big data using AWS Athena, AWS Glue, so you have the option to build a very a nice architecture. It's a little bit simple, but still it's, the, it's require you to work using Kegel as a data source. And Kegel is a website that have a lot of data source for machine learning uh, research and everything that related to um, BI, to analytic. Uh, you can use Kegel as a source to download data set or database. Once you download this database, of COVID-19 data, you upload it to S3 bucket and the S3 bucket will contain, I think the data set is like 4 gig or something like that. Then you connect AWS Glue. AWS Glue, it's a event driven engine that allow you to play, modify, update the data that you have on your S3 bucket. But in order to go one step ahead, you need to connect AWS Athena, and this is where you're actually using a simple SQL query with AWS Athena in order to query your data that have inside the AWS Glue engine. Very cool project. Um, I think uh, for people working with uh, big data or data analysts, they want to extend their knowledge, or also backend and DevOps that want to build something for their um, colleague. This is uh, how you, they can start to have the experience of using a big data project for querying COVID-19 data. And as I said at the beginning, if you have any rollback or it's very hard for you to do those projects, I'm going to do a video. We're going to do a video about every project that we're presenting here today. So this is AWS Athena Big Data project for querying COVID-19 data. And let's go next to our uh, Number four, three tier web app with auto scaling. So this is one of the basic beginner AWS project that you can start, but I gave it a little uh, nudge. I like make it a little bit uh, harder, but still it's something that is very basic, especially for beginner. You need to know how to build a three tier web app with auto scaling, okay? The user is making request to Route 53. Route 53 is connect to Elastic Load Balancer. Elastic Load Balancer have a two server in this case, but you have auto scaling EC2 instance in different availability zones, zone number one, zone number two. And those EC2 server 
connect to a RDS or it can be any other uh, database that AWS uh, offer. I did RDS because the most familiar one. And this RDS can be multi availability zone. It can be standby or it also can be a RDS replica of the primary database. This is like one of the basic architecture of AWS project that you need to control because this is like the, the basic of AWS. This is how it starts with EC2 database and VPC, everything connect under the same network. Very important to control this and to have the knowledge of how to make it uh, work. This is a three-tier web app uh, with auto scaling. If you have any question, please leave a comment and I will do my best in order to help you to do this project. Also, it's the basic, you, have, you, you need to know how to do that basically. And let's go next to project number five, Infrastructure as a Code or IAC of a three-tier web app. So basically we take in the same architecture that we just went over, that we tier a web app uh, with auto scaling, but now we not doing it manually from the AWS console. No, we doing it through something that called cloud formation or infrastructure as a code. So basically you can use cloud formation or you can use the Terraform or any uh, tool available today in order to actually writing your resource. So this is the next step of DevOps and backend uh, uh, development or cloud engineering that you actually can run and uh, write a template, eventually upload it to a cloud formation stack and this stack start automatically the cloud uh, formation uh, development of the stack and once the template itself is uploaded and the cloud formation make it magic it's building it's actually building this resource everything by code without you doing anything in the console in order to launch all of those services so this is very important step for people who want to extend their cloud engineering uh, space and basically have the knowledge and experience of how to use infrastructure as a code. This is also a mass project for backend uh, engineer that want to go next step to become DevOps. And what is so special about using uh, infrastructure as a code that once you have the template, you can create any environment that you want. You can use the same template and, you, and create or launch a production environment, and then you can create the same uh, in sorry, the same um, resource with to make a staging environment. And this is an example of how the infrastructure as a code look. It can be JSON or YAML file. And basically you write, you are coding your resource in AWS, make it as a template. And once you need to uh, use it, you just use an engine like CloudFormation or Terraform. But because we're talking about AWS, I'm gonna go to the cloud formation uh, service and he will know how to read this template and eventually launch the three-tier web app with auto scaling resource or services that you just wrote it it's amazing feature very important to know to make it work and again we're gonna make a video about this too so if you're feeling that you have a rollback or you don't know how to start just subscribe and you get notification when this video is ready for you Okay, guys, let's go to our last AWS project, train and deploy SegMaker AI fair mode model. So this is for developer or DevOps engineer who want to join the AI trend. And this is, if you don't know, AWS have their own sector of AI, the model that they already created and they have the SageMaker that help them to create all the models that they need. So this specific model fair mode, it's allow you or help you to detect object from a picture or from a video, from frame. And what you can do basically, you can train this model in order to detect specific object that you want and let's go over and see how this architecture work how the how you can train and deploy your own amazon SageMaker uh, model so you're gonna initialize SageMaker, and then you're gonna have a stage data set you need to have a data set that you're gonna upload to amazon s3 once you upload the stage to amazon s3 you're gonna build and push the training to a container uh, image this container image will get trained with the model 
of the fair mode and once it's uh, ready it will launch a training job and you can tune all the hyper parameter to make it more tuned or custom to your need and once it's done you're gonna have the model in aws uh, s3 bucket and this is basically the training process and once you finish with the training process you have the option to actually deploy your aws segmaker model so again you need to initialize SageMaker and then you build and push the interface container image that you just uh, push to S3. It will create Amazon ECR, a real-time uh, interface image. You're going to create an interface uh, endpoint using the Fairmont model on S3. Then you're going to test the endpoint or you're going to use it in production as ever you want. And that's it basically. This is how you train and deploy SageMaker a fair mode model this is the architecture and again guys i really recommend you to try and if you have rollback we're gonna create videos that show you how to do step by step so let's go over all, all the projects that we just shared we have the serverless invoice scanner we have the cicd pipeline for node.js app number three is aws Athena, big data project for querying covid19 data then number four twitter web app with auto scaling and number five infrastructure as a code with Twitter web app and the last one that just went over train and deploy SageMaker fair mode model i know that those architecture those other projects are not simple but i really recommend you to start an explorer and you can also go to my youtube channel i have a lot of video that cover a lot of the architecture that you already uh, saw in this video and that's it for today guys okay guys thank you so much for watching and follow to the rest of the video please like subscribe and leave comment below and keep following because i'm gonna release more and more amazing videos about ai about aws about devops about a lot of interesting stuff thank you so much